Earlier this year, the Environmental Protection Agency listed the Gowanus Canal in Brooklyn as a Superfund site. That means it's one of the most polluted areas in New York, if not the entire country. Where we normally, in Superfund sites, may measure hazardous contaminants in parts per million or even parts per billion, in the Gowanus Canal we're measuring them in parts per hundred. So uh, it's just orders of magnitude worse than uh, we are commonly accustomed to seeing at Superfund sites. The pollution comes from years of industrial use. Starting in the 1800s, gas plants, oil refineries, coal yards, paint factories, and machine shops all dumped their waste into the water. Some of the canal's pollution is obvious. Trash floats on the surface and collects on its shore. And when you're standing next to it, you can smell a bitter, putrid odor. But the canal's worst pollution is in the soil and sediment below the water. There really is no doubt that this mud is so heavily contaminated that the only sensible thing to do is to take it out. There's other stuff in there as well. There are PCBs. Uh, there uh, are various heavy metals of different kinds. Uh, so it's a conglomeration of different chemicals, which actually makes life a little more difficult uh, because you have to deal with each one of them and figure out how to manage one, each one properly. While the EPA works, New Yorkers continue to live and work around the canal. And even though it's polluted, many of the area's residents, like Linda Mariano, have a real attachment to it. There's something more alive about it, even though you may look at it and think of it as a dead zone because it's polluted and toxic. But there's something alive that uh, you know that you can um, that uh, has great meaning for uh, the future. The EPA estimates it will take 10 to 12 years to remove all of the sediment. We foresee that there'll be fish that can thrive in there, and uh, we foresee that it'll be a place where people can go canoeing and kayaking. They do that right now. My advice to them is don't tip. That advice will not be so critical in the future.